Well, we've been out here for over an hour already. We've done made about eight or 10 stops. Have not found a single shad spawn. Did, I don't know, it's time to start flipping, I guess. Uh, what is that on my nose? Have not found a single shad spawn though. That's the whole reason I put it up here. I wanted to find a shad spawn and then see if I catch some fish flipping or kind of on the same pattern I was on with the Hawassi yesterday. It's not happening so far. We're gonna let the sun get up, see if they get under the trees like they were on the Hawassi. Shad spawn was a complete bust, but hey, we're still gonna try to catch some up here. Looks like we're not coming up this way, most likely. Gonna fish for a few more hours and probably take out and head down, uh, most likely at least. So that's the plan. Bass. Look at his eye. I got bugs all over the screen. All over the lens. A little spot, but check out that eye. What do you think that's that's from? Infection or something? Being hooked right there? Look at that thing. I had him all hogtied. Should've shook him off, look at that sucker. That was freaking awesome. I flipped in there and had one on about, he's probably close to three pounds, but there was another one that was probably three and a quarter nipping at that fish's mouth, trying to get the bait out of the fish's mouth. I could see him, he was just sitting there. He had a rough spot on his nose. We might actually catch him in the tournament, but he was trying to get my beaver out of the fish's mouth I had hooked. And the fish, that's the reason I didn't really try to, you know, get that fish too fast, because I was just watching to see what was gonna happen. That was pretty interesting. Telling you right now, that was a good one. That one for sure was a good one. That was a good one. I promise you that was a good one. Mm. 
I haven't got very many guard to the boat. I've hooked quite a few of them. Haven't landed that many. So. Y'all see that? Can you see him? Not a little one. I knew that square bill bite this time of year was too good to be true. Don't know how well y'all can see that. But she shook off another one. That one felt good too. Like it felt like a good one. I ain't saying it was a giant, but it felt like a good one. So with that, we're out. We're not fishing up here no more. In practice, I can run this kind of stuff, you know, in the tournament. You just it's real visual. So we're gonna look for brim beds, throw a frog around, throw a chatterbait, swim jig around. Let's go try to find something. Alright, we're actually at a different boat ramp now took out from I think it's called Goodfield or Cottonport one of the two and now we're at Grasshopper so looking for brim beds in the back of this place now hopefully we're gonna find us something good that'll be good for the tournament a few brim beds with some 13 14 pounders on them that'll work just fine stay tuned we might catch a few in the middle uh, yeah I probably will catch a few down here just check the size and then start shaking some off He's actually smaller than I thought. I saw him sitting there and I pitched to him and he ate. And I couldn't shake him off and I figured he was gonna absolutely swallow it. So I went ahead and hooked him. Because the only alternative was probably gonna be killing him. So there's a brim bed back here. I just saw a four pounder. Now I just now I see him. I thought he was actually bigger than that. I thought he was a three pounder and he's only a two Maybe a two like a two 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 three. So I didn't don't mind catching him now I would have been pretty angry if I thought he was a three pounder came in here and caught him and He was a two and I had like a two so Maybe that wasn't so bad, but I thought he was a three pounder. I saw him sitting there I thought he was kind of deep I pitched to him. I, I don't know. I, there's one out there I just caught a four. He might be a two and a half. So we're gonna probably catch him on the way out, too. I don't know I wish I'd have had the uh, GoPro on, but I didn't. This just blew up on me. I don't know what happened. I picked it up to go from spot to spot, and the cord did not get pulled because it was not in, uh, what do they call it, engaged or whatever you want to call it. Somehow the uh, bobbin, the thing that detects water pressure, that thing is dry rotted out, and I've only had it for like, I don't know, six months or so. so. Usually they last a couple years, but that one did not. How about that? A little bitty sucker. I 
I don't know if any of y'all been keeping up with Chickamauga, but seriously, a week ago, probably like two or three weeks ago, you could run the kind of isolated cover that I just caught them two tiny ones off of and catch 14 pounds a day with your eyes closed. It was so easy. And now you can't hardly get a bite off of it. And when you do, they're that big. So I don't know what happened there. I'm, I don't like fishing like that. It's too easy. It's not, I like fishing like that, but the problem with it is it's, it's too easy and anybody could just go into a pocket and catch like a couple sixes because they're, they were on that stuff hard. But they're not spawning. All of them aren't spawning anymore. Most of them are doing, so they're leaving that stuff fast. So that's definitely not a way to fish. I still throw to it when I get around it, obviously, but it's definitely not a way to fish in this tournament. Tiny though, man. Tiny. Tiny. Big old crappy. Rough head tree. I saw a tree over here. Pitched my little drop shot over there. Big one. Did the sun get y'all in the wrong angle? See if I can block the sun. Now look at that crappy. Big old sucker, man. bigger than that if, I'm, if it's gonna justify me being out here got him on a drop shot though stuck to landing not to worry okay so the busyness of practicing and fishing tournaments strikes again I did not make an outro for this video sorry about the you know like uh, smudge on the lens there was a ton of these little gnats all up river on you on a chick at that time and they're really all over the lake but up river they were super bad and they were I mean covering the motor covering the lens of the GoPro and I wiped them off but I didn't get it all off and I didn't take as much time as I should have to make sure I had a clean shot but that's my fault still kind of not really new to it anymore but i just am so focused on fishing tournaments and stuff whenever all that when it's time to do that so today we're going to a little place on chickamauga i've never been it's a sneak hole probably people don't go back there very often and uh but this right here was we went up river on chick i had three bites up there they were all three three pounders well i had two short ones but three on the main river they were all three pounders then I, obviously you can tell I took my hook off, started shaking them off, and I shook off like 10 more bites. So I thought I could go up there pretty easily, catch me 14 pounds, and if I had some big bites, do a lot better in the tournament. So that's why I left and went down to the south end of the lake and started graphing deep, finding brush piles and brim beds and trying to, you know, find some ledges. Because that's how you catch the giant bags. So that was pretty much what I wanted to do in practice, and then the next two days I'm going to graph out deep in the practice. So. Hope y'all like that video. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Channel's starting to grow. I'm posting every day, so appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to keep putting it out for y'all.